Hi, I'm Nathan, your regional wellness specialist, Spartan Nash. We're here at Michigan International Speedway inside the number 10 Nature's Bakery trailer. Um, have the pleasure to interview and talk with Danica Patrick. That's me. Um, so Danica, um, with this busy schedule and practicing, qualifying, and all your team meetings and briefings, um, how, do you, um, how do you manage a healthy lifestyle? Well, I just had myself a cup of trail mix. We have boxes and boxes of fig bars in there and the brownies. I would say that my crew chief is a big fan of the brownies. He's uh, a brownie lover. Um, so those get ate quite a bit. Um, we, uh, you know, it's the beginning of the year. The trailer didn't look so healthy, but I had to do an overhaul and I made a list. And now it is filled with, you know, fruits and veggies and fig bars and trail mixes. It's looking much better in here. Great, great. So what's your what's your go-to snack to keep you energized throughout the race days? Oh, race day? Huh. Well, let's just say any day. Um, you know, I, I love to get as many fruits and vegetables in it as I can. Um, I mean, everything in its natural state, I think, is a little bit better. Um, nuts are a great source of energy, too. Um, bars are great for when you're on the go, so fig bars are great. Um, they also don't melt, which is a key move, especially now that we're in summer. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I think those are those are the general things I use when I'm on the go. I try and get real food as much as possible, but sometimes it's just not possible. Great. Yeah. Well, and you know, us at Spartan Ash, you know, we believe you know if you eat well, you feel well, um, especially when it comes to whole foods and, and healthy foods. You know, Nature's Bakery fig bars are a great choice we have in stores. Um, but uh, so, what would be maybe your advice to someone that has a busy schedule? You know, people at busy schedules don't. You know, they always say it's too hard to eat healthy. And, you know, what would be your um, best advice to give to them? Well, I mean, I think that people, when they're looking for something quick, they you have to plan ahead. I mean, that's one thing I notice that I always am doing at home is I'm always planning ahead for food. So it's like packing bars with me. It's... Um, packing I'm pre-make some trail mixes for myself um, sometimes I even like make overnight oats or overnight like I make chia pudding or something like that and I have it in a mason jar and I have freezer like lunch pails that um, that I can put them in to keep it cold and it keeps it cold for hours and hours so sometimes it's just a matter of having that stuff ready so you can throw it in and keep it with you but it's really about planning and then on the other side of that is, is people are just people are just lazy they don't want to get used to good food they they're like oh no I want my this and that whatever's unhealthy they 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 they're not will, willing to discipline themselves to get used to better food for you but once you do you'll end up realizing how much better you feel, your energy level will be better, and you'll go back to some of those old foods and they just won't satisfy you the same. Um, but you have to commit yourself to transition. Right, oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, and so, um, you know, we're absolutely thrilled to be here and, and chatting with you today and partnering with Nature's Bakery with Race. Obviously, Spartan Nash taking food places is gracing your bumper for, for t today's race. But, you know, um, thank you again, and we'll look forward to cheering you on um, this Sunday and the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>